This is an American story about an American epidemic, obesity, especially in poor neighborhoods where fast food joints crowd every major intersection, but where finding an apple is a serious challenge. We have a problem. There's a public health crisis. The people in the areas that need fruits and vegetables don't have any access to it. There's a glut of stores that sell tobacco, alcohol, and junk food, or what I like to call the leading causes of death. And it's the story of how five immigrants took a unique American opportunity. Push carts loaded with fresh fruits and vegetables and rolled them into the poorest neighborhoods in New York, trying to gain a foothold in this country. My parents came to America for freedom. I want to be somebody. This novel approach had its challenges and opponents. A no-brainer, why not have more people selling fresh fruits and vegetables in low-income communities? What could be bad? 1,500 peddlers out on no the street. We have no that there's a problem with availability in these there areas. There are children dying of diabetes. Why, please? You could argue that the demand is not high enough. That's absolute nonsense. I eat more fruits and vegetables because of green cuts like this. Then they also said, if you put the carts there, it will put our markets out of business. There's a lot of overhead that they don't have to deal with that we do. We have to pay insurance, we have to pay the workers, we have to pay taxes. The bias against the vendors has routinely linked to the actual vendors that are vending, and usually those are the migrants. All of these immigrants are starting their lives over again in America, seizing the classic American opportunity. Immigrants have fueled the growth and innovation of America for over 400 years. By inserting themselves into the problem, by becoming part of the solution, these new Americans have made the city a better place. You have to work hard, John and Mike. <laughs>